everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 51 of Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition. So we're playing the first one. So Agibinium, Agebinium, Agebinium. Okay, this is the Voyager cluster. I'm trying, trying to check to see... I don't see any other star cluster close to this so we are in the voyager we've been to pharos uh hades gamma maroon sea okay we are clearing out caspian Uh, the other thing that I have not been doing is actually MSV Cornucopia. Uh, the other thing that I have not been doing is to develop ties with our companions. The only person I actually talked with a lot, and I did it uh, in between. I, I did it some with recording it and some I did not record. Um, I only uh, talk much with Liara because that is the person that uh, we might actually have a romantic uh, interlude with her. Um, Rex I have not talked to. Garrus I have not talked with. Um, Tally is yeah another person we have a potential of having a romance with uh, I think in my earlier playthrough uh, in one of the games that I played because I played it a, a few times not just only once I had a romantic interlude with uh, or our avatar did with Tally rather than Liara or I think that was maybe in number two or I, I can't remember uh, this is the cornucopia okay so again so, but what we're doing at least are the side missions. So, if we talk more with Rex, uh, Garrus, uh, they sometimes give us missions. Uh, in game two, we definitely have to talk with them because uh, we have to build, uh, what do you call this, confidence level with them. Uh, and our the relationship that we develop with our companions actually affect their uh, combat abilities and stuff like that and so it it, it is important that we talk to them uh, here we don't need to not in the first game I, I can't remember I don't think in the first game we need to or it is that important so I have not been doing that and also like I said the first game is a little bit um, a little bit simpler uh, more straightforward there's not much in terms of uh, complexities so the second game there's a lot of complexities because it is all about uh, anyway I will not talk about it but it is necessary uh, and so it it's mandatory for us to actually develop good relationships with them Okay, uh, not here, not this one. Cornucopia. Whoa, not good. Huh. Enemy contact. You know what? What we have not done is do this. Husks. The ship is probably crawling with them.
And the other thing is, I don't think, are we using, oh, we are using sledgehammers. And is Liara, okay, she's also using sledgehammers. And then, how about Rex, are you using, oh, he is using in, in, in Inferno Rounds, okay. So those canisters make a uh, make a lot of they're advantageous to us in these narrow corridors. I guess so when they she says clear, I guess they they can tell if it's really clear or not. Over People have a tendency to run into our line of fire. Okay, so that's the next step up, I think. But before we do that, let's check the whole environment. I think we're clear, right? Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, I want to save this. <laughs> okay, this is... Cornucopia, right? Yeah. MSV Cornucopia. Oh, this is... I thought it was a Cornucopia. So... It's... Uh, Tyrus 5... Tyrus 4. Okay. Tyrus 4. I thought it was the Cornucopia. That's th okay. Let us uh, explore this other way. Oh, so far, we haven't seen any loot yet. So, actually, uh, this is not a maze at all. I thought we are in kind of a maze, but it's not. So, this is just only one way for us to get through from where we started to where we Enemy need. Contact. clear so when Liara said all clear before it is on that side not this side
Whoa. Now it is all clear. Rex, you should not have said all clear. It wasn't all clear. And can we get up there? I think we can get up there, right? No, we cannot. Okay. Huh, okay, I guess this is it. So this side is clear. Uh, let's get to the other side. We came through here. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we'll just have to. At least we cleared out this uh, this area. Okay, so we're dealing with husks. That's open. That's open. Okay, this is where they were turned into husks. Malfunctioning object. Shield interface. And did we pick up any loot? Nope, we did not. And how about on this side? Okay, another set of husk makers. I wonder who are the guys that are turning normal people into husks. Shredder rounds. Okay, easy. And I'm preserve preserving our. <laughs> I can't even talk straight. I'm preserving our Omni Gels so that like when we were going up against a Thresher Maw, our Mago was almost destroyed, right? And we had to uh, quickly heal it up. We can use Omni Gel to heal it up. So Omni Gels are very important. So how much Omni Gels, Omni Gels do we have? We have 531. Uh, the, uh, let's check on the, we got the scimitar, that is what, what is a scimitar? Oh, okay. Uh, how does that compare with our gun? Oh, not that good, huh? Armageddon, wow, it, that's very close. Uh, the only thing that is, we're, we're, we're greatly ahead is the heat sink and the accuracy but it's not it's not too bad actually uh, this is a big difference so only the armageddon 9 and that's a two level that weapon is two levels higher than what we currently have firestorms are no longer that great um hmm. katanas Sokolov, oh, yeah, so wow, whoa, Sokolov, whoa, I did not realize this, Sokolov is almost, it's better in terms of damage, heat sink, and slightly off in terms of uh, accuracy, but it's a shoddy, so that's good for short term, right, short, I mean, yeah, yeah. If, so if we get, so I think this is our the highest level, our 
or tens, okay. So if we get a, we can actually swap it out for a Sokolov right now, right? Yeah, why not? Uh, we give up a little bit on accuracy. Uh, incendiary rounds, inferno rounds are uh, incendiary rounds are a little still too uh, tame. Inferno rounds, look at that! Wow. Okay. Avenger, Banshee, Banshee Breaker, Crossfire. This Kovalyov are the good ones. Yeah, Kovalyov, they actually outperform on damage, but they are not as accurate. Lancers, Avengers. So I'm thinking of stuff that we can actually start uh, turning into Omnigels. Tsunami, Tsunami. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Mm. How about these? Uh, the Karpov is very good. Stiletto. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Huh. They're, I think they're not doing us well anymore. Uh, stilettos, yes. Yeah. Rykov, even worse. Karpovs are not too bad. Brawlers are good. Uh, Razor. Wow, Raikou. Jeez. Okay, I'm I'm trying to build up our. Oh, so we have. Okay, let's save this. Uh, we have enough cash. Okay. But well, we're short on our Omnigels. Uh, not, 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 not short actually, but uh, we can use more. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. It seems they found an alien artifact of some kind. They brought it on board and then... This is odd, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, as if they wanted the Geth to find them. What else do the logs say? After that, the entries become confused, as if the captain's mind was degenerating. There is no mention of how the ship returned to human territory. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it. Try According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. It seems they found an alien artifact of some kind. They brought it on board and then... This is odd, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, as if they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth's base? After that, the entries become confused, as if the captain's mind was degenerating. There is no mention of how the ship returned to human territory. The Geth turned them into husks, and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happened. Okay, I guess that's it, right? Uh, huh. I think we should not be casually uh, <laughs> loitering around. Uh, we should always have our armament out. Because there's that one split second can actually mean we get surrounded or not. Okay, I guess this is it, right? Uh, we're done here.
Okay. Wow, okay, so uh, these things actually help us build up our experience and also build up our cash. Uh, they're not that, exp you know, necessary for us in this game, uh, in this playthrough, uh, because of the uh, the glitch that we found in Novaria. So we have looked at all of these guys, right? Yeah. Uh, so this Caspian and there are wow no no that doesn't count right that's not it Caspian bus stop nothing interesting second ring looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below commander no message, just a locator signal. Okay, uh, what is this? Okay, let's not do that first. Let's check the other planets. And the asteroid belt. Oh. After the asteroid belt... Alco. Nope. Survey. Okay, back to this one, right? No dark crooks. Okay, let's land here. It looks like um, Edulus or Eden Prime because it looks it's verdant, green, stuff like that. But I was wondering, would it hide a worm or not? Yeah, it looks... it looks verdant. Whoa. A red tick right there. Uh, we are close to the zone line on the north. Wow, past this ridge, I think, right? Or they may be even up there on the uh, spine of this uh, mountain. On the other side of this hill. Whoa. husks somebody must have purposely infected them easy decryption okay save this this is hard decryption so it's gonna be a long one
Kessler Avalanche Hammer. Okay, save this. Know the crooks. Crossfire Mantis Armor. Ooh, nice. Human. Oh, Chameleon Tool. Oh, another one. Oh, yes. I'm not shy about taking loot. I always, there's always, you know, we don't know what's inside. Could be in something really nice. Stiletto Striker Naginata. Okay, there goes our timer. So, wow, this, this timer is really loud. Okay. Uh, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.